energy can take many forms. Oh, and of course, you know all about electric, uh, electrical energy from batteries. I'm sure you do. Uh, or the plug in the wall, uh, but also kinetic energy or emotional energy. That's the energy you, um, you have in an object in motion, like a tennis ball, for instance. Also, chemical energy, where you have energy stored in a, a liquid kerosene, for instance, the, the lamp boiled, where, where the chemical energy is set free when you set it on light. And these are only a few of the examples of energy. But the one that we should uh, talk a bit more about is uh, thermal energy. And, um, but I guess we should just take uh, a, a look at what energy is measured in or measured by, and it's called joule. That's, that's the SI unit, or joule, I guess you, you, you pronounce it. But you also see it, depending on where you are, you'll also see it in kilowatt hours, in calories, in British thermal units, that's the BTU, and whatever else. And there's a lot of different um, units that, that is being used for energy. Energy can also be stored in many different ways. Some are better than others. Maybe electrical energy in batteries or accumulators, whereas storing heat is maybe not exactly the best way. But uh, for a while, you can store energy in the form of heat. I mean, you may still burn your fingers on a hot stove. <coughs> Sorry. Even as it has been turned off. Yeah, I'm sure you know that. Energy in the form of heat will result in you moving your hand quite fast. And energy in the form of heat is what we will be talking about the next few moments. Now, let's just cement, cement the fact that heat equals energy. And as a proof, I'll boil, we'll boil an egg. You heat up the water. Uh... And the strange thing is that you can now, you heat up the water and obviously it gets warmer and warmer, etc. but only to a certain point, or rather only to a certain temperature. The temperature turns out to be pretty much 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit, which happens to be the boiling point of uh, water. Let's see if I'm lucky this time and be able to stop and start the animation um, that's the energy uh, you apply to the to the boiling water but the temperature will not get any warmer as long as it boils you could say the 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 boiling process is stuck on a hundred degrees Celsius while the water evaporates. All additional added energy is now used only for changing phase from liquid to vapor. You could pour any amount of energy into the water. It'll not raise the temperature, it'll just evaporate. 